I released a video last week on device compliance and the importance of that when governing access to corporate apps and resources. And I got some good comments and it made me start to think, what if there's a requirement that you only want to allow specific you know, hardware level devices to be able to access a corporate app or resource? And if you're not on that allow list, then block access. How do you do that at the, at the hardware level? So I started thinking about this and it occurred to me, this is possible with Azure Active Directory conditional access and Microsoft Endpoint Manager. And so I wanna run through this scenario with you and, and kind of Matt's solution here to this business requirement. Let's talk about how this is going to work. I have a device. That device is on a allow list. So we've actually taken the serial number of that device and we've uploaded it to a list in Microsoft Endpoint Manager. That list is called a corporate device identifier. Now, with that list, we're also going to create an enrollment restriction, and we're going to block the enrollment of personal devices. And I'll explain more about that here in a moment. Once we do that, then we're gonna create a compliance policy in Microsoft Endpoint Manager, and then lastly, we're gonna create a conditional access policy in Azure Active Directory that says you have to have a compliant device in order to connect. So what does all this mean? Well, basically, when I go to access that corporate app or resource, my device needs to be managed by Microsoft Endpoint Manager. It needs to be compliant by Microsoft Endpoint Manager in order to get access. And in order to be managed, it has to be on that allow list. The serial number of that device has to be on the allow list. So let's jump into Microsoft Endpoint Manager and let me show you how to set this up. Okay, so within Microsoft Endpoint Manager, we're gonna go over to the left side and click on devices. And then under devices, we're gonna click on enroll devices. And you know what, let's just zoom in just a tad here, make this a little easier. And so under enroll devices, we're going to click on corporate device identifiers. And we're gonna click on the add button here and notice I can upload a CSV file or I can enter manually. Now, normally this is used that if you, for you know, corporate devices. So if you bought uh, you know, a bunch of iPads or a bunch of Windows computers or a bunch of devices in bulk, you would upload all of the serial numbers of those devices so the system can identify it as a quote, corporate owned device. That's basically what we're gonna do here. So we're just gonna enter manually and we're going to enter in the serial number of my iPad. So bear with me here just one moment. I am going to pull up the serial number on my iPad under settings, general, and about. Okay, here's the serial number. So we're gonna choose serial number. Identifier is KJVJV2. 4HD2, okay. And then from there, we're just gonna click add. Now in the real world, you would have a lot more serial numbers, obviously. And there's ways to pull those serial numbers from already enrolled devices, uh, but maybe we'll cover that in another video. So let's give it a moment here to add that identifier. Okay, it's been added, there it is, perfect. And then over on the left side, we're now going to create that enrollment device platform restrictions. We're just gonna click on that. And I could create one for each you know, category here of, of OS. Um, so I'm going to just use the default though. So I'm gonna click on the iOS tab because we're testing this with my iPad. And then I'm gonna click on all users under default, properties, and then edit platform settings. And then down below here, I'm going to click on under iOS, iPad OS, I'm going to click on block under the personally owned category. Basically, this means if the device, when I go to enroll it, is not on that allow list that we just set up under corporate device identifiers, then it's gonna block it because it's gonna be identified at that point as a personal device. All right, so let's click save and we're good to go. So that's the default one. So personally owned has been blocked. Perfect. So now we need to go create our compliance policies. Let's go to devices 
and then under devices, compliance policy. Now I already have a compliance policy created. If I didn't, I just click on create policy. So I'm gonna choose the one for all iOS, iPadOS devices that I've created. Now at this point, I could go in here and edit that compliance policy, right? And, and configure it however I want, you know, do whatever I wanna do here. Um, but the point is, is that this compliance policy is assigned to everybody. And if you want to access a corporate resource, the device has to meet this compliance policy. And in order to meet the compliance policy, it has to be managed. And in order to get managed, the serial number of the device has to be on that allow list. You follow? <laughs> so it's now starting to kind of come together. So now that we have the compliance policy, let's go create the conditional access policy over in the uh, Azure Active Directory uh, blade of the Azure portal under security and then conditional access. And we're just gonna create that policy. So I'm just gonna put this uh, test uh, serial number scenario. And then at this point, I would assign it to my users. You know, of course, don't lock yourself out, but uh, you know, I might wanna assign it to maybe all users in the environment, or maybe just a select group of users that are my, my MDM managed users, whatever it may be that you wanna do. Uh, assign it to uh, a resource, whether it's all cloud apps. And, and that doesn't mean it's only Microsoft cloud apps. It's any app I have added here. So it could be you know G Suite or Salesforce or whatever, maybe an on-premises app. And then under access, nothing for conditions, under access control, under grant, we're gonna say require device to be marked as compliant. And then at that point, when I save this, that means if the user tries to sign into an app. We're going to double check. Azure Active Directory is going to double check that the device is compliant, which means it's going to reach out to Microsoft Endpoint Manager and see if it's compliant. And in order to be compliant, you have to be managed. And in order to be managed, your serial number has to be on the allow list. Okay, so let me show you what this looks like. Let's switch over to my iPad and we'll do a little demo. Okay, so we're on my iPad. Let's try to access a line of business app, but let's pretend that the serial number of my device is not on the corporate identifiers allow list. So we're going to try to launch Power BI and we're gonna to try to sign into Power BI. So let's go ahead and sign in. Do the MFA thing. And look at that. My device must be managed in order to access this corporate resource. Okay, so let's try to manage the device. So I'm gonna launch Company Portal and get signed in. Sometimes I have too many email addresses to remember. And once we authenticate, we're gonna to try to self-enroll into Microsoft Endpoint Manager using the Company Portal app. All right, so let's just go through the process here. Tap on Begin, and we're gonna download the management profile All right, profile has been downloaded. So let's go into settings here and install the profile. And look at that, installation has failed. That's because the serial number of this iPad is not on that allow list. It's not added to the corporate identifiers list. So now let's go back, let's add that serial number and let's try to do this again and see what happens. Okay, so I added the serial number. So now let's go back into settings and let's try to install that management profile. And there it is installed successfully. Look at that. 
So if we go back to Company Portal and finish the process here, and we are successfully enrolled in Microsoft Endpoint Manager. If we go to my device, device setting status can access company resources. So now we should be able to log into Power BI. And we are now signed in to Power BI. All right, good to go. All right, so back in Microsoft Endpoint Manager, you can see the serial number of my iPad has been enrolled and it's on the allow list here for corporate device identifiers. This is how you can uh, allow access to corporate resources using only approved hardware devices. Pretty interesting solution, right? I thought so. Well, hey, it's Saturday. I'm gonna move on with the rest of my weekend. I really hope you found value in this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Be sure to click subscribe as well. That really does help me out. And please keep the comments coming. Leave them down below the video. I'll be happy to take a look. In fact, this video came from one of you that left a comment and it inspired me. Okay, folks, have a great rest of the day and we'll see you on the next video. Take care.